Activision released Keystone Capers for the Atari in 1983. It takes place in a department store. A huge ass three story department store. You control Officer Keystone Kelly, whose objective is to catch the fleeing criminal Harry Hooligan before the timer runs out, or if Hooligan runs to the edge of the roof above the third floor. If you don't make it, you'll lose one of the three lives you start with. You start out in the bottom right hand corner of the first floor, while Hooligan starts out in the middle of the second floor. There are escalators at the end of each floor to take you up, and elevators in the middle that you can use as shortcuts. The only thing is, the elevator takes a little while to change floors, so you might end up costing yourself time rather than saving it. There's a map at the bottom of the screen that indicates where you, Hooligan, and the elevators are. So if you get to the elevator right after it just went up, then you'll know it's a waste of time waiting for it. And if you think it's a good idea to take the elevator to the top floor and hoping to get ahead of Hooligan and cut him off, then think again, because he'll change direction. And it sucks because you can't take the escalators down, but he can. Although he really runs around the escalators and ends up underneath, I guess he takes the stairs. But you can't do that, you have to go back and take the elevator to make your way back down, so the best bet is to stay behind him. Like any Atari game, there's points, which you can earn by collecting suitcases and bags of money. What the fuck, I thought you were supposed to be the catching the crook, not stealing the shit yourself. Maybe you're really just planting all this evidence on an innocent man, crooked bastard. Anyway, you're not just racing against the timer, you've also got a bunch of hazards in your way. Bump into one and you'll lose 9 seconds. In the first level, there's these bouncing beach balls. Then when you catch Hooligan, you'll advance to the next level where there's stationary radios. Then the next level, shopping carts get added to the mix. And then the next level are the biggest pains in the ass, the airplanes that fly across the ceiling. You have to stop yourself and duck underneath them. It not only slows you down, but they're deadly as hell. They don't cost you time, they cost you a whole life. After that, each hazard gets an upgrade one at a time for each level you advance. The balls get more hang time forcing you to duck underneath them, the radios double, the shopping carts and planes get faster, and then the balls double, the radios triple, the shopping carts double, the planes get insanely faster, and so on. Just gets more and more progressively difficult. Keystone Capers is addictive, fast paced, and has really good graphics for a 4-bit console. I remember when I was little, my parents brought me to Toys R Us where they bought this game for me. We brought it home, popped it in, and it was Pitfall. Nothing wrong with Pitfall, but I already had it. Keystone Capers was printed on the cartridge mistakenly, so my mom brought it back and came home with the correct game. It was a weird folly in my video game history, but because of this happening, I think I'll do Pitfall next.